Okay, wonderful gemstones. All right, so my brother just started licking everything, so can't use them. But we already got a little brownie mix here. Looks like disgusting poop, but that's besides the point. Um, welcome to another episode of The Darkness. Alright, so, mix, putting it together is pretty decent, um, pretty decently easy, because they make separate pre-measured things, you just gotta fill it up, it's pretty easy. And for telling when it's done, this is gonna sound gross, but keep in mind when you bake it, all the germs and stuff that might be in it go away. If it hits above 100 and something degrees, which it's in a 325 degree oven, so it will. Um, to tell if it's done, you actually have to stick your finger in there, or stick the spoon in there, or something like that. And feel the spoon, and see if you taste or feel, depending on how you do it. I'm not going to taste brownie mix, because it tastes gritty and gross. Um, and if you feel bumps and stuff... The gritty part's supposed to be in there. I mean, like, chunks. Um, then, you know to keep going. Alright, so. And most brownie mixes range from, yeah. Some go all the way up to 450. Some are low as... 325. This one's 325, and the box goes up to 350. But I've done it at 450 before. Alright. And a lot of ovens will speak out to you if you have a vision impairment. Um, but mine doesn't. Um, plus you can have bump dots, and it automatically starts. And you hit it once, it already starts at 350. Five, six... Oh, that's one too many. And when you hit down, it automatically, and all ovens I've ever used, goes down by five. So, yeah. So, if it if you know it starts at 350, bump it down five times, boom, you're at 325. And my oven, and all the oven, some, no, not all the ovens, some ovens need you to press the bump dotted button again to make it start. But not mine. Mine just starts preheating the second you stop changing the temperature. And so it's going. I will catch you guys back up when we're ready to put it in. My brother wants to show me something on GTA. Oh, I want that. You gotta do that for me. I, I like weapons. That sounds really bad to put on YouTube. Anyway, guys. Today in this, I will be showing you guys something that I learned at the carol sign. Oh, and another way to tell if it's done or not is this peak smell that you'll smell off of it. Anyway, this is called a rat jack. And I will show you how it works when we are ready to put them in. But for now, I will see you in a minute. See you with a gun. They're gonna shoot the hell out of you. It's why I walk in and then I walk out, but I stay in front of the door and look inside. Alright, guys, so here is what you do with this. And you open it up. There is a pan in the oven. God damn it. That's probably what mom meant by make sure there's nothing in the oven, right? Hang on, guys. I gotta take care of that. Here we go, guys. So we got a rack jack here. You take it, follow it down if you're blind. Bring it over here. Find this. And pull it out. With this little ridge. Alright. And you take your brownies. Since it's a... I'm just gonna... Alright, it's 
not an actual pen, it's a movable, breakable pen, so I had to use both hands. And you push it back in with this knob. Then you just close your oven door. You can also use it, if it's open, you can feel around for the handle. But I've never done that. Alright. Got to set a timer for... I have a talking timer somewhere, but I don't know where it went. Bake time. 40, 53 minutes. I hope you don't have to use the microwave for an hour. Kitchen timer. 50. I'm sorry, yeah. My coffee's going there. I don't have the timer. It's warm. It's not hot. It's not hot, hot. You want to try it? Thirty seconds. That'll be good. All right. So then I'll set it for f fifty-two minutes. All right. Since I probably already wasted thirty seconds, I'm just gonna go fifty-two to be safe. But I'll stick a fork in it. And if it still seems a little bit too moist, then I'll put it in for another two minutes. Alright, here's your coffee, and it's definitely hot. Yeah, that's definitely... Definitely hot. Alright, kitchen timer. Five, two. Nala. That's you can do. Alright, so when the microwave goes off, I will catch it back up. I get to take a break. Just joking. Do not smoke or chew. It's very bad for you and can cause cancer. Um, so, we took them out out of risk of them burning, because it was like seven minutes later than it should have been, but they're not burnt, and they're good. Take them out using the rack jack like I showed you, and you cut them, putting the knife in front of your knuckles, so if you do cut anything, it's just a, cut, a little skin off your knuckles, which isn't too bad. Other than that, that's everything you guys need to know. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to shine bright.